Okay guys, so the first part of these little baskets that we're going to do are the handles. So I've taken my four pieces of the seven foot ropes and this is the exact center point. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see about how long I want the handle. So I want it to be like that, okay? And again, if you want yours smaller, just measure this part smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it out like so. And to start, I'm gonna tape the far end where I had measured off for the handle to end. And I'm gonna work my way down with square knots to make that little loop part at the top of the basket. Okay. I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to work a few knots from the other end just so those two working ropes don't get too too short so I'll use some of the length off these ones and make a couple square knots as well Okay, now I've done six inches of square knots. I'm going to show you guys just how this works. So that will be the size of the loop for mine. Okay, so if you want to keep going, just add more knots. If you want it even smaller, you can add less. Okay, but I'm happy with that size. So I have some of these little sewing pins that I'm going to be using to hold this in place and this is why I'm doing it on a cork board. Um, you don't necessarily have to do it on a cork board. You could do it on a clipboard and clip that top part in and work from there and whatnot. Uh, that's actually what I do when I'm sitting on the couch or watching a movie but for this tutorial I just wanted it to be nice and clear for you guys so I got the Cork board and what not what not out. Okay, so that's gonna hold that into place. Let me see if this is straight. Okay. Now from here, I'm gonna take the outer two and leave them over for both sides. And we're gonna take the center four and tie them together with a square knot. Okay, so this joins them together. I'm going to take my six and a half foot rope that I folded exactly in half and I'm going to attach it to this one. I'm going to use a pin again just to make it a little bit easier. I'm just going to do like that and I'm going to make a square knot. So I'm going to use these two as the center. Okay.
See how it's attached onto there now? Okay, I'm just gonna repeat that for the other side with again, another six and a half foot. I'll show you how to do it without the pin because it's actually quite easy. So you can just loop that up like that. Make a square knot pretending that that one is attached to something. And you just want to be careful here and pull it through really gently or else that other one will flip. Oops, see, just like that. <laughs> That's what you don't want. So pulling those through. And that one a little tighter. Okay, so now we have the first three square knots there. Now I'm going to join these two together. Now we're going to do the same. So this is another six and a half foot and I'm going to place it down here because we're going to work our way down like this. Okay. So this next row is going to be the one that lines up right there. We're moving on to the six foot rope. With this camera here and it's on a tripod, I find it really difficult to do the freehand ones. But if it were on a clipboard on my lap, it's much more comfortable to do it that way without any pins and whatnot. But for this, with this big thing in front of me, it makes it a lot easier to just be able to hold it into place because I have to reach around so far. We're just going to continue on with this pattern, doing two for each rope size, down a couple more, okay?
now we are on to the five foot eight cords. Okay, so now that we've done one, two, three, four, five, six on each side, I'm going to use alternating square knots to start joining everything together. Okay, now you can see that I filled in that entire center part. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create little sort of floating square knots. So I have my next two pieces of cord and I'm going to fold them in half in the middle, have these little loops up here. And I'm just gonna do a square knot like that. Okay, and you want to slowly pull this part out. I'm actually going to show, I'll show you a second way to do this as well. You can do it with the pins if you choose. Okay, and then you just tuck that in and you tuck that in. So this is what we're going to be using to build up the rest of it. Okay. Okay, so here's the second way. Go like that, and we can take two of our pins and pin the strings in nice and close. Okay, and we can just build a square knot like this if this is easier. This kind of Kind of holds it into place. Then we take these out. And you just want to pull those ones down. See? Okay, so these are what we're going to use. And kind of like how we did before, but instead of just using the one, we're going to line these two square knots up to be the same. Let's pin this one nice and close and we are going to take the center two or two from here, two from here and we're going to make a square knot to attach the two. Okay, we're going to do that to both sides. Once that's done, you just want to give it a little tug with these center ones. See? Okay, so we'll do it one more time over here. Pinning it nice and close. And we'll take two and two. See, so now those are attached. And we're just going to keep working that pattern outwards, okay?
Okay, so now we've attached four on this side, four on this side, join them down there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the alternating square knots the whole way through, bringing it down into a V shape, okay? Okay, so now that I've come down to a V, we're gonna stop because we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight on the bottom part, and then we added four more on each side. So now we're gonna connect uh, these two to become the front of this little basket, okay? I might have to move those. So you just take it towards the front and you take two from that one, two from that one. I'm just gonna connect them with a square knot. So now that we've done that, we are going to straighten these cords out. We can pin these down if we want to, to hold it into place. And we're gonna do just like we did on the back, and we're gonna close this front part up with square knots, okay? Okay, so now we've connected the front together with square knots and filled it in. You can see how it's starting to take shape. And this is where, again, giving you options, you can decide to do a different pattern down here. Uh, you can leave it plain and simple. You can add more. You can leave it here and make it short. So it would be like that big sort of. Okay, but for me, after having a look at it, I'm just gonna go down and do a few more rows. Okay, so same thing, just the alternating square knots. And then when I'm done this side, I'll just flip it over and start working on the back side. Okay. So now I've achieved the body length that I'd like and I've done exactly 12 rows of the alternating square knots. Now we're gonna join the bottom up using the gathering knot. So I'm gonna take that four foot piece of cord and I'm gonna make a loop with it. Well, maybe a little smaller. So about that long, I'm gonna gather up these cords and place the loop like so. And now I'm just gonna work my way around these and each layer each row that I do of this I'm going to just place it nicely underneath the last to make a beautiful gathering knot and I'm going to tie it nice and tight like you can see I'm 
about the end, I'm going to put it through this loop, holding it nice and tight on this side. I'm going to use that string that we left at the top. And I'm going to tug it through. But before I pull it all the way so that we can hide that little end piece there, I'm going to snip it nice and short. Give it one last tug with the top and then I'll take this out. Okay, so this is where we're at. Now I'm gonna push mine up and then pull these cords a little bit tighter in here just so that it's nice and even on both sides. Okay, there we go.